again to I Dream of Wigs. I'm Missy with TL Wigs and today I'm going to be showing you Belle Tress's Calivia and this is in that new color Cookies and Cream Blonde. Oh wow I can't wait to get into this. Okay so I actually got Calithia here from my good friend Patty uh, because I wanted to check out this new color and show it and do a review. So thank you, Patty. But if you would like to purchase this, I'm going to drop the link to TL Wigs website in the description box down below and also the direct product link to Calithia here. Now, some of the Cookies and Cream Blonde were on pre-order, and they have just shipped out within the last uh, week, two weeks, something like that. So everybody that did those pre-orders have gotten theirs before anyone else, and then they will start shipping out later. I think it's supposed to be uh, closer to the end of summer something like that but it could be sooner so just wanted to let you know that and also I'm going to try different lighting in here today because this is such a hard color to pick up on camera um, I've got two studio lights and a ring light here my overhead light is currently off. You can see I still even got the tag attached to this because I don't I don't think that I'm going to keep this. I just wanted to uh, try this color. So first, let's go over this color. This is a just it's one of those that you have to really see for yourself to get a good idea of what it is and since you can't do that I'm going to try my best to explain this color here as well as I can so the rooting on this is a darker kind of like a chocolate root and I'm assuming this is where the cookies and cream you know come from but it's not a like a, a real dark dark to me would be like almost on the the black you know spectrum this is not at all like that let me see if i can get up here to where you can see it it's it's really really nice it's almost like a a darker ash not quite gray not quite brown it's just like a, like i said it's like a a darker ash and all the way around of the hairline you've got that darker and even you know in throughout is the darker let's do a spin so you can see it in the back I haven't done anything to this I haven't put any products or you know even taken a comb to it I just keep sweeping this back so there's your root on that and then that just kind of melts into this ash blonde blend and then the ends if i step back hopefully you can see the ends are white there's no gray to this even though it appears to look gray it's an ash a pure ash and then white tips it's very very becoming very pretty I really like this and I am typically not one that would go for these kind of colors it's just gorgeous okay so now I'm going to turn on my overhead light and see if that makes a difference it probably won't I'm probably gonna have to actually oh yeah it did it did make a difference let me well first we'll just continue to keep looking I'm not really going to do so much of a review on the style itself um, just this color and like I said the, the tag is still on it because I don't plan on keeping that 
So yes, it is a heat friendly style. I do like this style though. I may have to get this in a different color. So there's the overhead light with both of the studio lights and the ring light. Now I'm going to turn the ring light to a warmer shade. Let's see. Let's see if that does anything. It may not. Let's see if I can get my ring light up here. Yeah, to see this, it's just going to have to be outside. So my ring light is on a warm setting. It's not the bright white. All right, now we're going to try, this is the cool setting. I'm also going to turn off these. Well, first I think I'll go outside. And there is back to the white. So let's just play around. I can see it right here where it's changing. There's the warm. There's the cool. And there's the bright. All right, let me set that back. All right, now let me try turning off some of these larger studio lights. So there's that one off. I just think when you step back from the camera, you can really see these white tipped ends. Just gorgeous, especially, you know, for me, I, I always do blondes. Let me turn the other one. I wish that those had remote control, but they don't. Okay, so here is just regular um, overhead lighting. See how that just, it just like it says, it just melts into this ashy tone and then ends with the white tips. It is gorgeous. So I'm probably going to sell this one for, I paid uh, $220, so I'm probably going to sell this one for $200. The tag is still on it, I, no products. So let me get outside and try and pick up this color in some natural light and then some also filtered light. That doesn't want to work. All right, here is um, some natural window lighting. In here, when I look at this root color, I'm pulling the brown, not so much the dark chocolate. Like I said, when I think of dark chocolate, I think of you know a really dark, uh, almost black blend. And I know that it may appear that way on camera, but I can assure you it is not a black. It's more of a brown, a dark brown chocolate. Okay, so now I will go downstairs with some LED lights and then we'll go ahead outside. All right, here I am in a different room again. And as I said, this is just LED lights. There's no natural light coming in. Stepping back, I don't notice the white tips as much down here in my basement. There is that again. Now we will try this outside. I really like how this has that natural contour there. I've never owned this wig. I may have to try it though. All right, outside. Okay guys, here we are outside. I hope you can see better. Oh yeah, much better. And the white tips. What color is this, honey? Uh, cookies and cream blonde. Does it look gray? No, not at all. Ash? A little bit ash, yes. Do you notice the white tips on the yes, ends? Yes, I see the white tips. 
Very good. You look very hot in that. Oh, thank you. So you do have to get this color outside to see the dynamics to it. All right, guys, thanks.